Alexandra Hildebrandt's life revolves around an area in Berlin that used to be no man's land. She spends almost every day at Checkpoint Charlie, a focal point during the Cold War. Hildebrandt runs the Wall Museum, located at the former border crossing point. This place stands for resistance, the resistance of the people who had the courage to put up signs here and demonstrate for political prisoners to be freed and families to be reunited. When communist East Germany built the Berlin Wall in 1961, the city was divided. Checkpoint Charlie was the point of passage between the Soviet and American sectors of Berlin. During the Cold War, it was probably the most famous border crossing in the world. Today, the historical significance of Checkpoint Charlie is concealed by kitsch and commerce. There is no historical monument to the past here, although there is a hut and actors pretending to be border guards. It's a disgrace, unworthy of the site. It's legitimate to earn money, but you have to be sensitive about where and how you do it. Since the fall of the Berlin Wall in 1989, the city has never been able to agree on what to do with Checkpoint Charlie. That looked set to change. Berlin spent three years developing a concept with a private investor. But shortly before the end of the talks, the Berlin Senate cancelled the plans. We are going to take another look at the site, the potential investors and the planning. We want the city to achieve the maximum benefit from high demand sites. The city said it was worried about the original investor Trockland's transparency. The company says that this is just an excuse and accuses the Berlin Senate of unfairness. There's no truth to those reports. We live in a democracy. I think it's sad that people use the methods of the 1930s, the Nazi era and the communist age. This is a case of public shaming with no evidence and all to advance a political agenda. The city has its own ideas. In terms of planning, it's back to the drawing board. The end result is that for the foreseeable time, Checkpoint Charlie will remain a hodgepodge. It really hurts me. Sometimes I get teary-eyed. It shouldn't be this way. Alexandra Hildebrandt thinks that Checkpoint Charlie deserves better. If she got her way, the site would be converted into a park with a proper historical monument.